हेलो फ्रेंड्स वंस अगेन वेलकम टू माय चैनल बी प्रिपेयर्ड आज के इस वीडियो में हम बात करेंगे एनवीएस प्रिंसिपल रिक्रूटमेंट एग्जाम 2019 के एकेडमिक्स पार्ट्स के नेक्स्ट 25 क्वेश्चंस यानी क्वेश्चन नंबर 26 से लेके क्वेश्चन नंबर 50 तक क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 से लेके 25 तक की वीडियोस हमने ऑलरेडी अपलोड कर दी हैं होपफुली वो आप सबके लिए हेल्पफुल होगी सो so, क्वेश्चन नंबर 26 पर जाने से पहले आई रिक्वेस्ट यू ऑल टू प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड प्रेस बेल आइकन तो ये स्टार्ट करते हैं अपना क्वेश्चन नंबर 26 सेवरल स्टडीज हैव शोन दैट बाइलिंगुअल प्रोफिशिएंसी रेजेस द लेवल ऑफ ऑप्शन दिए हैं नंबर 1 कॉग्निटिव ग्रोथ सेकंड ऑप्शन इज इंटेलिजेंस थर्ड ऑप्शन है कॉग्निटिव ग्रोथ एंड डाइवर्सिफाइड थिंकिंग और लास्ट ऑप्शन दिया है डाइवर्सिफाइड थिंकिंग यहां एक वर्ड आ रहा है डाइवर्सिफाइड थिंकिंग सो डाइवर्सिफाइड थिंकिंग इज अ थॉट प्रोसेस और मेथड यूज्ड टू जनरेट क्रिएटिव आइडियाज बाय एक्सप्लोरिंग मेनी पॉसिबल सॉल्यूशंस इफ टिपिकली अकर्स इन अ स्पॉन्टेनियस फ्री फ्लोइंग नॉन लीनियर मैनर सच दैट Many ideas are generated in an emergent cognitive fashion. Many possible solutions are explored in a short amount of time and unexpected connections are drawn. So, by this definition, right answer is option third. That is, several studies have shown that the bilingual proficiency raises the level of cognitive growth and diversified thinking. Next question is, the field of education is permitted by conflicts and misconception because options diye hain number 1 there are no good teaching methods and procedures second option hai teachers are not worthy of doing rigorous scientific investigation third option hai problems in education call for subjectivity of interpretation or last option diya hai problems encountered in teaching are not amenable to rigorous scientific investigation so the right answer is option 4 that is the field of education is permitted by conflicts and misconception because of problems encountered in teaching are not amenable to rigorous scientific investigation next question is according to john dewey schools must prepare students for options diye hain number 1 future risk Second option is research, third option is work, and fourth option is present life. Right answer is option 4, that is according to John Dewey, schools must prepare studies for present life. Next, 29th question is, NCF proposes the evaluation system should be based on. Options are number 1 price, second option marks, third option is grades, and fourth option is merit. So here is the word NCF. NCF means the National Curriculum Framework 2005 is the fourth National Curriculum Framework published in 2005 by the National Council of Educational Research and Training in India. Its predecessors were published in 1975, 1988 and 2000. So right answer is NCF proposed the evaluation system should be based on grades. So, third option is right answer. Next question is, which identity should the teacher education focus on? Option diye hai, number one, individual identity. Second option hai, social identity. Third option hai, educational identity. Or last option hai, professional identity. Right answer hai, option four, that is professional identity. So, option four jo diya hai, wo iska right answer hai. Next, 31st question is, which of the following should be developed to solve aimlessness in education? Option diya hai, number 1, administrative reforms. Second option diya hai, democratic citizenship. Third option diya hai, straightforward aims. Or last option hai, centralized education system. Yaha ek word aara hai, administrative reforms. So, administrative reforms aims to establish and bring into practice the changes which are required to function the administrative agencies of a government to implement public policies efficiently. The administration agencies act as a key to bring the necessary transformation in the society. So, here is another word that is centralized education system. 
so it's a board of education control of the public education system has shifted away from local schools board towards more centralized administration at both the federal and state levels this process is known as centralization so right answer for this question is which of the following should be developed to solve aimlessness in education is that is centralized education system next question is for good learning it is a must for the school to have option diya hai number 1 a big playground second option is students room third option is vast open area and the last option is a good library so what should we have for a good learning in a school we should have a good library so option 4 is the right answer that is a good library next 33rd question is the reasoning in which the given statements are viewed as supplying strong evidence for the truth of the conclusion is called fill up reasoning option diye hain number 1 deductive reasoning second option is inductive reasoning third option is quantitative reasoning and fourth option is qualitative reasoning so here is some word deductive reasoning inductive reasoning etc i am just explaining little bit what is deductive reasoning deductive reasoning also known as deductive logic in this process the reason from one or more statements to reach a logical conclusion deductive reasoning goes in the same direction as that of the conditional and links premises with conclusions so here is another word that is inductive reasoning inductive reasoning is the process of using examples and observation to reach the conclusion so right answer for this question is inductive reasoning that is the reasoning in which given statements are viewed as supplying strong evidence for the truth of the conclusion that is called inductive reasoning so second option is correct answer next question is rte 2009 act is based on which article of the constitution of india first option is article 43 second option is article 81a third option is article 45 and the last option is article 81 next question is a priori knowledge is a knowledge that is non independently of options are number 1 analysis second option is experience third option is evidence and fourth option is information correct answer is option second that is priori knowledge is knowledge that is non independently of experiences so second option is right answer next question is according to plato the main role of education was to options are number 1 develop the society second option is develop the government third option is develop the power of contemplation fourth option is develop the military force right answer is option third that is according to plato the main role of education was to develop the power of contemplation next question is one of the goals of a school is to provide a learning environment that promotes the achievement of high educational standards for all students school principal can pursue this goal in a better way by encouraging teachers to fill up options are number 1 continually inform their classes that every student is capable of mastering challenging materials and skills second option is provide learning opportunities to students including a mix of individual small groups and large group activities third option is ensure that the material they provide in their classrooms is categorized with the school syllabus and the last option is allow your students a great deal of flexibility in determining what they will learn and how they will learn it so the correct answer is option first that is continually inform their classes that every student is capable of mastering challenging materials and skills so option first is correct answer next question is which of the following test is done to know the mutual behavior of male and female students options are number 1 personal test second option is sociogram test third option is nk dotal record and fourth option is rochage test right answer is sociogram test is used to know the mutual behavior of male and female students next question is ncf recommends the total homework time for class 10th and 12th students as options are number 
one hour a day second option is four hour a day third option is two hour a day and the last option is three hours a day right answer is ncf recommends total homework time for class 10th and 12th students is two hours per day next question is what is the best way to develop human values in students listed options are number one impart knowledge about society second option is strict discipline third option is knowledge of moral values and the last option is knowledge of history correct answer is option third that is knowledge of moral values so more knowledge of more values is the best way to develop human values in students so third option is correct answer next question is which of the following is the most important single factor towards achieving a successful career as a teacher options are number one personality of a teacher and his or her ability to relate to the class and to the peoples second option is scholarship third option is communication ability and the fourth option is organizational ability correct answer is option first that is personality of a teacher and his or her ability to relate to class and to the people is the most important single factor towards achieving a successful career as a teacher so option first is the correct answer next question is as a principal of a residential school priority will be given for options are number one safety of the students second option is health third option is academics and the fourth option is overall molding of the students in a healthy safe emotional environment so the best correct answer is option 4 that is as a principal of a residential school priority will be given for overall molding of students in a healthy safe emotional environment next question is the posco act is applicable to children under the age of listed options are number 1 18 years Second option is 10 years, third option is 16 years and the fourth option is 14 years. Right answer is 18 years. Next question is observable behaviors that a teacher can use in the class to bring home to the pupil an idea or point are technically called. Options are number one observation. Second option, demonstration. Third option is communication facilities. And the fourth option is teaching skill. Right answer is option four, that is teaching skills. Next question is, on which of the following statements is there a consequence among educators? First option is disciplinary cases should be handled by the parents. Second option is disciplinary cases should be totally neglected in the class. Third option is disciplinary cases should be sent to the principal only when other means have failed and the last option is disciplinary cases should never be sent to the principal office so the right answer is option third that is disciplinary cases should be sent to the principal only when other means have failed next question is who advocated removing children from their mother's care and raising them as wards of the state options are number one john locke second option is aristotle third option is socrates and last option is plato correct answer is option four that is plato plato advocated removing children from their mother's care and raising them as ward of their state so option four is correct answer next question is Elementary education covers education from class fill up to class fill up. Options are number 1 from class 1 to 8. Second option is from class 1 to 7. Third option is from class 1 to 5. And the last option is from class 1 to 6. Correct answer is from class 1 to 8. Next question is after decision about budget cuts have been made and are shared with members of the faculty many teachers express concern about their ability to meet goals for school improvement with fewer resources available to them the principal can best address the teacher's concern by emphasizing which of the following strategies so here are some strategies listed below 
Option first is arranging regular meeting with teachers at different grade level to explore problems the teachers are facing and option for addressing them. Second option is giving teachers substantial control in determining where funds should be cut and where funds should be retained in their own classroom. Third option is forming a committee to review the school's current set of improvement goals and revise them to accommodate new realities. Fourth option is implementing a peer coaching model to help ensure that each teacher has ongoing support is responding to new challenges. So the correct answer is option first that is arranging regular meeting with teachers at different grade levels to explore problems the teachers are facing and option for addressing them. Next question is Emily or on education is a treatise on the nature of education and of man. It is written by options are number one Sukrats, second option is Plato, third option is Rosio and fourth option is Aristotle. Correct answer is option third that is Rosio. Next last question is if a teacher is not professionally qualified after how many years of RTE implementation will he or she have to possess the required qualification? Options are number one, two years, second option is five years, third option is six years and the last option is three years. And the correct answer is option second that is five years. Thank you so much. Aage bhi sara ki videos ko sabse pehle dekhne ke liye, aap hamare channel ko subscribe kare. और बेल आइकन को दबाना बिल्कुल भी ना भूलें